Integrating Zoho Books with Zoho CRM will allow us to have contacts and accounts sync in both apps, as well as see financial information from the CRM. To set up the integration, first we have to make sure that all the fields we have in both apps match. For example, if in the CRM you have a field called client type that you want in Zoho Books, then you need to create the field as a custom field in Books. And we have to do the same if the field is in Books and we want it in the CRM. To add a custom field to Zoho Books, we have to do it from the settings. I have it already open this tab. And on the preference section, click on customers and vendors. Then on field customization, click on new custom field. We're going to name it client type. The field type is going to be a dropdown, just as the CRM field. And we're going to add two options, owner and manager. Let's save it. You have to do the same if the fields you want to sync are not already part of the apps. Now let's go to integrations. And next to Zoho CRM, click on connect. And on connect again. Select your organization and save it. The first part is set up. Now we have to configure how the information is going to sync between the two apps. So let's start with the contacts. The module to sync will depend on your needs. If you sell to end customers, you might want to sync contacts only. In this case, we're going to sync account and the contacts. Also, make sure to select this setting if you want to separate contacts from accounts in a more granular way. For example, the client type field that we just added will only show on the accounts if you don't check this box. Next, you can select if the contacts should be synced from the CRM to books or both ways. In this case, because we would like to access the estimates, invoices, and other Zoho Books modules from the CRM, we're going to sync them both ways. If you don't select this option, you won't be able to access financial information from the CRM. This can be changed in the future if needed. Here, we're going to select skip, but make sure to read what each option does. This next section is important. Here you can choose what accounts will sync from the CRM to books based on the CRM view. For example, you can have a CRM view called active accounts that shows accounts that have bought from you and are active clients. So you only sync those with books instead of syncing all the accounts that you have in the CRM. If you didn't set up views in the CRM yet, you can do it now and then come back to finish setting up the sync between both apps. Or you can create the CRM views later and edit the integration one that's ready. To set up the views in the CRM, watch the video filtering and mass updating records on the Zoho CRM section. I'm going to select all accounts. We're going to do the same with contacts by clicking here. Next, we're going to map all the fields we want to sync. The first section is the account fields. Some of them are already mapped, but feel free to map more fields. If we scroll down, we can see the custom field that we added earlier on the account section. The custom fields related to Zoho Books customers will be displayed under accounts and contact. In this case, the CRM field should sync with the contact field, so we're not going to sync the account client type field. Below, we can see the contact fields. Same as with accounts, some of them are already mapped. If we scroll down, we can see the client type field related to the contacts. This is the one we're going to sync with the CRM. So let's find client type. All right, all the fields are mapped, so we're going to click on Save and Sync. The contacts and accounts are being synced. Next, we can sync vendors and items. This step is optional, but if you want to see financial information in the CRM, you have to sync these two modules. In our case, we want to access invoices and estimates from the CRM, so we're going to set this up. Starting with the vendors, make sure that the sync is set to both ways. We're going to skip duplicate records and select the All Vendors view. Then you can map any fields and click on Save and Sync. Let's do the same with items, which are called products in the CRM. All right, now we have this new setting called Sync Transaction Modules. This will allow us to access Zoho Books from the CRM and create estimates, invoices, purchase orders, and sales orders. Also, all the documents created in books can be associated to the records in the CRM. So let's click on Enable. And now on Confirm. This might take some time because all the documents have to sync. In our case, it should be a quick sync. Let's check the status. And it looks like all the modules have been added to the CRM. 
These modules are not the same as the CRM quotes and invoices. You won't lose access to them, but they're not going to sync with Zoho Books. Now that the integration is configured, let's create an invoice. As you can see, after selecting a customer, we have this option that says CRM Actions. Click on it, and then click on Link Potential. On the right side, we will see a list of CRM deals linked to this account. If you click on Associate, this invoice will be linked to the deal. Let's add a line item. Scroll down to make sure everything else looks fine. And we're going to save and send this invoice. And finally, click on Send. All right, let's see the integration from the CRM. We're going to close this and open the deal we used on the invoice before. On the left, we can see Zoho Finance. This is where you will find all the Zoho Books records related to this deal. Let's open the invoice. This is the invoice we just sent, accessible from the CRM. On the top, we can see the other modules synced with the CRM. Let's click on Estimates and on Create Estimate. Here, we can create an estimate and it will sync with books. The last thing I want to go over is the integration from the CRM. Let's open the CRM settings. Now, go to Zoho under Marketplace and click on Manage under Zoho Fine Suite. All the settings that we configure in Zoho Books can also be changed through the CRM. Additionally, we can configure other apps like Zoho Expense, Subscriptions, and Inventory.